Hi everyone, it's Karen from the Geordie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, and as it's Sunday, it's another collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube. Busy Bee Marie, Tina's Talk Time and Maria Crocker. So once you've watched this video, don't forget to go and watch theirs. I'll put the links in the description box below. So this week we're going to talk about bucket lists. Um, I've had a bucket list for a few years and there's been quite a few things on it. Some I've ticked off, some I'm probably never going to tick off. Uh, but I've tried to keep it sort of things that I knew I could achieve if I just put my mind to it. Um, well, maybe some of them anyway. Maybe there's a couple that I probably never will achieve. But I'm going to tell you seven things that are on my bucket list. Uh, but first, I'll tell you some things that I've ticked off my bucket list. So parasailing was on my bucket list and I did this last year, went to Gran Canaria with Warren um, and we saw that they did parasailing there and he says, oh, I really fancy doing that and I said, yeah, I'll do it and he was absolutely shocked um, that I said I wanted to do it because I don't like heights but this to me didn't seem like it was going to be like dangerous or anything like that so we tried parasailing and I absolutely loved it. I would definitely do it again. It was just so exhilarating. And when you're up, it, you know, I think you're like, a, um, maybe a hundred foot. I wasn't more like up in the air, kind of a big parachute attached to a boat and you're taken up. Um, and you're, you're up there for maybe five, 10 minutes. It's not long. Um, but it's so peaceful up there and I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be quite noisy with wind and everything, but it wasn't. It was really peaceful. And we got to see, you know, some of the um, the the landscape of Puerto Rico that we maybe wouldn't have seen if we hadn't done the parasailing. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that and I'd highly recommend it, actually. And it actually ties into one of the other things that's on my bucket list, which I'll get to soon. So something else I ticked off my bucket list and I think this was 2020 and it was just after I would come out of the, it may be when we came out of the first lockdown, um, but we, we had, we'd wanted to do uh, a part of Hadrian's Wall, which is not far from where we live. Um, and it was, it's called Sycamore Gap. Um, and you walk from, I think it's like the visitor centre to Sycamore Gap and back again. Uh, it's called Sycamore Gap because it's like a, kind of a dip in the in the in the valley uh with a big sycamore tree in which was used in the robin hood film uh that had kevin costner in it um so you walk from the, from the visitor center to the sycamore gap and then you, you have a picnic there and then you walk back again and it's only like a, a four mile walk um but we decided to do this on probably the hottest day of that year and i have to say i was absolutely knackered there was a part of it where we were coming back um, and it was all uphill and it was so hot. And I remember saying to Warren, just leave us here. I'll just live here. I'll live on this field. Just leave us. <laughs> but um, he didn't. And we did manage to get back to the car. But that was, <laughs> I enjoyed it, but it was really shattering. So that was something else that I ticked off my bucket list. Um, a couple of other things. I wanted to visit Stonehenge. I did that. Uh, my birthday is the 21st of June, which has kind of links with Stonehenge. Um, and I've always thought if I was in the middle of those stones on my birthday, uh, something magical would happen. Unfortunately, you can't get into the stones. The, there's like a big, it's cordoned off. You can't actually get right beside them. Um, so that this magical thing was never going to happen. Uh, but I was actually quite surprised at how small they seemed. I thought they would be a lot bigger than what they actually were. Um, so maybe a little bit disappointing that, but it got ticked off the bucket list. The other thing that I wanted to mention that was on my bucket list, we wanted to go to Vegas. That was on mine and Warren's bucket list. Um, and we did manage to visit Vegas. I think it's probably about five or six years ago now. But I would love to go back. We're planning on going back next year, if possible. Um, and again, if we go to Vegas, we can meet, meet Busy Bee Marie. So that'll be fun. But really loved Vegas. Just an amazing place. Um, gobsmacking a lot of it. Really enjoyed that. 
But to get onto the things that are still on my bucket list, uh, the first thing is I want to learn how to do a waltz. I'm a huge Strictly fan. Warren loves Strictly as well. <laughs> he even admits he loves Strictly. Uh, and since we've been, we've been watching it for about eight years, um, I really would love to do a waltz to Ed Sheeran's Perfect. I don't know where I would do it because we don't really go to anywhere where you, you do these kind of dancings, but that could also tie into something else that's on my bucket list. Um, so yeah, we need to find some dance classes. I'm going to do it within the next year. I'm going to find some adult dance classes and we're going to learn how to waltz. He actually wants to learn how to do an Argentinian, Argentine tango. I don't think we've got a lot of chance of that. Um, but you never know. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, tackle the waltz first because I think that sounds easiest. Um, so, and you never know. If my YouTube channel blows up and I get really famous, I could be asked to go on to Strictly. Uh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Highly doubt that's ever going to happen. That's not on my bucket list. But yeah, I want to learn how to do the waltz. The next thing on my bucket list is I've always wanted to play the drums. I love music that's got a drum beat in. Uh, all my favourite songs have got, you know, good drum beats in them. Um, and I always thought it looked so much fun. I would have loved to have been in a band when I was younger, um, but I can't sing to save my life. Can't play guitar. So I thought the easiest thing to do would be to play the drums and then I could be in a band. Maybe I've left that a little bit late, but I really would love to learn to play the drums. I think it's it's um, it just looks so fun, you know, banging with the sticks and everything. Um, not sure if they do kind of that kind of drum lessons anymore, because I know it's all a lot of it's electronic these days. Um, but maybe I'll look into that in the next year as, as well, playing the drums. And if I do any of these things, I will try and do a vlog of them so you can actually see that I am ticking them off my bucket list. The next thing is I would like to write a book. Um, yes, I wrote an e-book uh, on social media uh, a few years ago now, but I would like to write a memoir. Um, so kind of a life story, but a, a, more of a memoir, memoir that is kind of hooked around a, a specific topic. Um, and the topic that I would probably write mine on is growing up without a mother. Uh, not to bring the, uh, you know, the, the vibe down or anything, but one of my subscribers actually asked us if I still had my parents. Um, and I, I don't. Um, my mum actually died when I was nine. She was only 27 years old. Uh, I never met my biological father. Um, I had a half brother and sister. And it was a, a bit of a strange situation. Um, I went to Brownie camp when I was nine. Um, now, for those of you who don't know what brownies are, it's a bit like Girl Scouts, Girl Guides type of thing. Uh, so I went to Brownie camp. We were staying there for, I think it was five nights or something. And I came back from camp um, and my mum was gone. She was just dead and gone. Uh, and at the same time, well, not right at the same time, but like, a, a, a you know, a few weeks later, I actually found out that the, my brother and sister were my half brother and sister. I didn't realise that their father wasn't my father. So that was, you know, two shocks to a nine year old girl, which was um, not very, you know, not very nice. Uh, and there was kind of strange, strange things surrounding my mum's death. Um, I mean, maybe not, you know, maybe I'm just making them up in my head. Uh, but she was, I never went to a funeral. Um, I was recently, one well, a few years ago, I was told um, by a second cousin that she hadn't been allowed to go to the funeral and she was, you know, like 18, 19. Um, the, her name was never put on the gravestone. Uh, not sure why. And I tried to get her death certificate from the council um where we were living at the at the time uh and they don't have any record of it they said so if a few strange things so 
I think I think it would make for an interesting memoir. I don't know if anybody else would want to read it, but you know, it may be interesting for me family in in future um, family um, to read. I would have liked it if I was brought up by my mum's mum, uh, and I would have liked it if she had left something like that. You know, that explained lots of different things that I'd never got to ask her. Um, so yeah, that definitely on my bucket list. Uh, I would like to write my memoir, not to get it published, but just so I could actually get it down for my own family. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll, I, I, that's been on my bucket list for a long time and maybe I'll get to it very soon. So bringing the vibe back up again, uh, the next thing that's on my bucket list, so this is the fourth thing, is I would like to go to a fashion show. I think I've said in a video before that Project Runway is one of my favourite programmes. I just, I love to watch people design clothes. I love to watch the, you know, the runway shows that they do. So I'd actually like to go to a live fashion show. I would love to go to one in New York. Uh, so maybe I could kill bird, two birds with one stone there with um, going ticking New York off my list and going to a fashion show there. It, I know there is a London um, fashion show, so maybe that's the next best uh, thing if I don't get to the New York one. But has anybody been to a fashion show? Uh, I'd love to know what you thought of them. Just let us know in the comments below. Now, the next thing, this is the fifth thing on the bucket list, and this is tied to the parasailing that I'd done. I would love to go jet skiing. They did have jet skiing in the same place when we went parasailing. Um, but I never got to do it. Uh, but I would, I've always wanted to go jet skiing. But I kind of say to myself, have you ever watched that Only Fools and Horses episode where David Jason gets on the jet ski and he's not seen for like another 12 hours? I would, that would probably be me. Um, but yeah, I would like to, to ride a jet ski. I think I'm going to put that on my list for the next time I go somewhere um, that has that kind of thing available. I'm not a brilliant swimmer, but I know you wear life jackets and you can you can ride a jet ski with somebody else. Uh, but I would want to actually drive it. So I don't think Warren would be very happy with that. So he'll have to get his own. The sixth thing on my bucket list is I'd like to have afternoon tea in the Blackpool Tower ballroom. And I could tie that in with me waltz, couldn't I? Um, I don't know if they have kind of waltzing dancing afternoons up there anymore but if i had afternoon tea and they did do that i could uh, i could do both of those at the same time once i've learned how to do it of course uh we've been to blackpool a few times never been into the blackpool tower never been up to the ballroom so i would like to have afternoon tea there um just because i think it's maybe tied in with strictly you know i love to watch strictly and i love it when they're at the blackpool tower and uh, yeah i think that would just be really nice and it, it looks like a lovely place so that is the sixth thing on my bucket list the last thing on my bucket list uh is i would like to visit heva castle in kent heva i don't know if it's pronounced heva or heva i think it's heva castle uh, again, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know I've um, got a huge interest in anything to do with Henry VIII. And Hever Castle is the childhood home of Anne Boleyn. Um, and it actually was passed on to Anne of Cleves, which was also one of Henry VIII's wives um, when, when she was uh, married to Henry so I would really love to visit Heva Castle. I know you can stay there. You can stay in the Anne Boleyn wing, probably not the room Anne Boleyn um, lived in when she was a child. But there's just so much history there. You know, there's tours you can do. Um, the the bedrooms look amazing. The castle looks the castle looks amazing. Uh, yeah, I would just love to visit Heva Castle in Kent. And that is definitely doable. Um, within the next year or two, I would like to go down there and visit Heva Castle. So those are the seven things on my bucket list. Um, what's on your bucket list? Please tell us in the comments below because I do like to know these things. I'm a very nosy person. And if you have ticked off anything major on your bucket list, also let us know. And I'm really excited to hear what Marie, Maria and Tina have got on their bucket lists because although we discussed doing this video, 
nobody's actually said what was on there so i'll be interested to watch their videos so don't forget to go over and watch those um i'll put the uh names on the screen now and i'll also put links to that i've got a bit of hair on my face i think um and i'll also put links to their channels in the description below so that's all i've got for you today uh next sunday i think we're talking about our morning and evening skincare routines so that'll be interesting to see if you know how different each of our routines are um and what products we use so i'm looking forward to that one so that's next sunday through the week on tuesday uh i've got a yours clothing try on haul for you and on thursday i've got a low carb shopping uh haul and menu plan for you and i'll give you a a, a catch up on how my low carb journey is going have i put weight on have i lost any more weight i'll let you know next week so thanks so much for watching uh i'll see you again soon and um, bye for now